First responders and soldiers are the most common owners of big black dogs, as PTSD is sometimes known. I wasn't diagnosed until about 40 years after I came back from Vietnam. But now there's hope at last. Ever since Gallipoli, um, and finally uh, we're going to uh, make some strides forward. A forum next month in Brisbane will present stunning research findings into the disorder that's ruined and snatched away so many lives for so many years including virtual reality simulations which take sufferers back to where the black dog started barking. When the, I got to the point of describing when I got shot, I actually jolted out of that chair and my eyes opened up because the memory was so sharp. And I went through that six times and by the end of it, I could talk my way through it and those memories would become normal to me. It's hoped a blueprint for future treatment will result from the forum and shift government funding in the right direction. This has never been done before in the world, uh, where you've actually taken that absolutely holistic approach, psychological and um, physiological. You have to do something, you know, I mean, we've, we've uh, in army terms, we've marked time for too long. 700 PTSD experts are expected in Brisbane to help put a light inside so many dark tunnels. Tim Collins, 10 Eyewitness News.